Hello! Today, yesterday, or maybe even tomorrow, I'll dollop the doctor from 2005 to 2017, his companions and a few other characters from the series. Recomotion. I'll start with Rose Tyler, so I can immediately show you one of the tricks I use for this video. It's a belt made out of green stuff. That's really how it's called. Which I then painted brown. I did a lot of painting for this video. This torso is another great example of that. I just painted a grey hoodie over a pink shirt. I think the resulting torso piece fits Rose perfectly. Also the hair is spot on. The ninth doctor was short-lived, so his only somewhat recognizable outfit consists of a purple shirt and a black leather jacket. And no hair. Well, at least I won't give the mini doll any. Again, it is evident that the mini dolls live somewhere very warm, for I had to paint this torso as well. I'll give this mini doll a pass. Mickey Smith was Rose Tyler's boyfriend. Him I just built out of unmodified parts, because I think they represent him fairly well. I think it's not working out between us. I know. Bye. That escalated quickly. Captain Jack Sparrow, uh, no wait, uh, Captain Jack Harkness, I always get those two mixed up, is a real 51st century man, and as such, the only one who can pull off a belt with suspenders. For this outfit, I had to erase the tie from this shirt and model and paint the belt and suspenders, out of green stuff. The suspenders can be put on and taken off, because the suspenders aren't really suspending. A quick hint if you plan on doing this yourself. Don't paint the inside of the suspenders, for it will leave paint residue on the torso. There. He's almost as charming as the original. It's regeneration time! The tenth doctor loved red sneakers, so I painted him some. He also loved suits and the red tie, so I made him one. I am aware that this suit already has a painted on tie, but it's not red. And I kinda, maybe, probably got addicted to making stuff out of green stuff. Let's not forget the sonic screwdriver. To get back to the doctor, I think this one turned out okay. I wish I had more mini doll facial expressions, but... My doctor! And off they go. Donna Noble is one of my personal favorites. I even have a nickname for her. Oi! I love this torso for her because the colors are somewhat right and the necklace is almost identical. So, all in all, a great figure. I'll save her for later. My most beloved companion is Martha Jones. I gave her Moana's head because the expression suited her and I painted her torso as well. Granted, the jacket could have been more on the red side, but not even I am perfect. And in the end, I think the mini doll looks great and very much like the original. Before we regenerate again, let's dollify a couple more characters from this era. Sarah Jane Smith, I felt, deserved to be mentioned here, even though I couldn't find a fitting hairpiece for her. But I did paint her torso, so that everything combined isn't that bad. The Master is the Doctor's oldest friend and enemy. He also qualified for a belt thingy, but in his case it serves as a part of a shirt that is sticking out from under the hoodie. The torso had to be painted, of course, and I'm absolutely thrilled that LEGO released an evil-looking male face, because the master would have been ridiculous otherwise. Whoosh! I need to get that TARDIS. And now it's regeneration time! The eleventh doctor had to be customized a lot as well. That's just the theme of this video. 
Since both eyes are cool, I made him one. Again, green stuff, paint, made it reusable. I even like the hair and face on this one. Ah, he looks great from all sides. Amy Pond is famous for her short skirts and shorts. These are the shortest shorts Lego makes for mini dolls, so I painted those. I also reused Sarah Jane's painted torso, so I didn't have to paint yet another one. No, I did not spend the ridiculous amount of time finding matching outfits I could reuse. <clears throat> yeah, I love this figure. And we cannot talk about Amy without mentioning Rory. This is basically the same shirt he's wearing in the photo, so I don't care that it's on a big torso. I also found the perfect hairpiece for him. And all of this perfection without me having to paint anything. Absolutely perfect! Rory, come quick! Okay. Seems like there's trouble. And where there's trouble, Dr. River Song is probably around. She's an archaeologist. Of course, both her legs and torso had to be painted. But luckily, at least Merida's hair is an exact copy of River Songs. A great mini doll for a great woman. In fact, she's so great, I'm giving her a second outfit. One fit for a queen. Or a Hogwarts founder. You don't know who she's been in a past life. Anyways, now she's ready for that fancy dinner the doctor promised her. I'm sure he'll get me there, eventually. Clara Oswald. The impossible girl gets this outfit because it's the one I had to paint the least. I believe you can see by now a pattern emerging. I think the mini doll turned out wonderful. Danny Pink, a math teacher and Clara's boyfriend, deserves a mini doll as well. To get the teacher vibe from him, I painted the skin on the big torso with tie that you saw earlier. That's a very useful torso piece. I'm not entirely happy with the achieved skin tone, but despite that, I love the mini doll. Now, a couple of interesting individuals. Petronella Osgood is a scientist for UNIT, who likes to wear the fourth doctor's scarf. So naturally, I made her one. Green stuff, paint, you know the drill. I didn't bother to paint it much on the inside, though. The shirt also needed to get some sleeves and lose the magenta cross. But this mini doll was very fun to make, and I'm really pleased with the result. The TARDIS as a human. Yeah, that happened, and I had to dollify it. Especially as it's just Syra from LEGO Elves with Bellatrix Lestrange's hair. Not incredibly accurate, but nice nevertheless. Regeneration time! But backwards. We want to meet the War Doctor. Uh, he should have been introduced before the Ninth Doctor, but we have a TARDIS, so who cares. The torso is painted and I'm happy with it, but not so much with the whole mini doll. Mini dolls still just don't work for older people. Real regeneration time! The Twelfth Doctor borrowed Martha's legs and I painted for him this torso piece. I don't think I'll be able to reuse it for anything, but it's my absolute favorite. Why is he the only one doing two spins? Because I love this torso so much. I had to give it some more screen time. Regeneration time! But for the master! Missy gets a black dress with a white shirt underneath, this amazingly accurate facial expression, and I'll even give her an umbrella. It's crazy how truthful the mini doll is to the original. Another very memorable character is a shielder. I've dollified her in her all-black outfit, mostly so I could make her this golden necklace. It's kind of fragile, but I love it. I'm certain I'll find a way to smuggle it into some more videos. Oh yeah, and the mini doll turned out good as well. A shield just has that face that is perfect for dollifying. Clara, Clara, let's go on an adventure together. But let's get back to the companions. 
Nardo just seems like a great guy. So I really wanted to do something extra for him as well. So I did. I used green stuff to give his hat a little pom-pom and painted the whole thing in colors used in the series. I think it turned out well. And now for the upcoming companion, Bill. At the time of the recording of this video, not much is known about her. But did that stop me from dollifying her? Of course not. I actually really wanted to paint her torso, so I squeezed her into this video. Her hair is cut Andrea's hair. And I think, with this beauty, we can end the video. So I can have an adventure as well. I won't be doing any monsters today, sorry. Bye-bye!